Welcome to the channel. Well, we got some bad weather coming for the next few days, so I got to take a break from my build. But I want to take this time to show you guys a product that I've been using a couple of months now, and it's the workhorse of my laser engraving shop. And that is the Afiri 2400 watt uh, solar power generator. Now this thing's a beast. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Like I said, I've been using this a couple of months. This thing has been powering all three of my lasers. And it's been working great. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. I got it at about 68%. As you can see, it has a nice, I love it, LED display right there. Uh, even with bad eyes like me, I can see that no matter where I'm at in the shop, see where I'm at uh, with power. And then you look over here, you've got your, your carport charger that you can plug into there. This, I believe, is the same. I'm not sure what this is. But this is, it looks like your solar panels where it would plug in, but this is an output. This is not an input. If you want to plug in your solar panels, this is over here along with your charging port. Uh, this thing actually charges very quickly within an hour to an hour and a half. As you know, I'm running my shop pretty much off grid. I have one outlet that controls, uh, that is on, on the grid. That's for the lights, and I do have one outlet, so when this thing needs a charge, I just scoot it over there 10 feet and plug it in and charge it up, and within an hour, hour, depending on how much it went down, you know, I usually run this down pretty low, maybe to 10%, and then uh, sometimes even lower, and then I'll uh, plug it in and charge it up, and in no time I'm running. Now, running my lasers, I've actually run this two lasers for like four or five days without recharging this. This will run a microwave, probably a couple of microwave, microwave ovens, a refrigerator. I've used this uh, in a power outage to run my gener uh, refrigerator in the house for probably about five hours. And it just, it, it, it does great. And right here you got a little light, different modes in that. I always forget these lights are on these things. And then over here is where you have six. I broke the door, by the way, and that was, um, <laughs> I kicked it. There's a little tab. I broke it off. That's my fault. And I will say it's probably not the most durable door. I usually just leave it off, but you've got six outlets, and I have these filled up. I'll have my laser engravers plugged in. I'll have my com laptop computers plugged in. Anything else I need, I've got fans that run that pull out the exhaust. As you see, 2400 watts. Uh, up here we have a, a storage. Uh, you can put your charging cables, your solar cables, anything, your phone, whatever you want. Yeah, you can put a sandwich in there. That thing will hold a sandwich. But I don't eat bread, but if I ate bread, yeah, well, you know, it would hold a pack of hot dogs easy. I don't know if it would keep it cold, but it's there. It would charge, you know, it'll power my little portable refrigerator, and then that will keep it cold. But that is there. That pushes in flat. You can stack something, another one on top. You got two USB-A ports, and this is what I like. You got one, two, three, four USB-Bs. That's the small one which most everything I use now comes off of USB uh, B. That's a tongue twister. And to turn that on, you just simply press that. Now you can use the ports. DC, you want to use that. You press that on, you're lit up on DC. Uh, let's get something in test here real quick. Uh, here we go. I also got video of the lasers running. You will see that. Here's a Here's a bench grinder. Let's go ahead and plug that dude in. Actually, I've never, never turned this on before. Let's see how we do. Uh, yeah, I got, oh, there's also a button here to turn your AC on. Now we're on AC. And there she goes. Let me sharpen a pencil. Oh, yeah, my pencil sharpener's working. Razor 
sharp. <laughs> All right, what else I got? It's got a portable heater. Y'all just stay there and watch for a minute. Got that running. Got a 1500 watt heater. Let's put that over here so we don't grind off the cord. We'll plug that in while we are leaving the grinder going. And let's turn this on high. She's on. Full blast high. This is a 1500 watt heater. Not a problem. You can see it's pulling 700, 800 watts, 838. It's climbing. Now, like I said, this is a 2400 watt. I love it. It has done me great. And I have put it to the test many, many, many times. If you can see that light, this thing is on. It's, it's kind of leveled out at uh, 1,072 watts, 73, somewhere in there. What else do I have? Uh, let's get a battery charger, which I use this for. And we still have three outlets left. Charging a battery. We still got three outlets left. You get the idea. Well, might as well plug something else in. Let's pull this grinder back. It's still running. All right, so I got my grinder. I need to sharpen my pencil, but it's cold. I got my heater on, right? Let's throw this light on while we're at it. Got my heat on, got my grinder going, I got my battery charging, but I got the urge to vacuum. Woo 1300 watts, not a problem. There you go. We are doing a lot at once. And I'm staying warm doing it. Alright. There we go. And what I like is it this thing I think it has two thousand watt hour, or two thousand watt hours, Sid. And I know that for a fact because I've used it for like a whole week doing my laser engravings. It did not give me any issues. Alright, let's uh, see how she does laser engraving. Alright, I am now running both lasers off of the Afiri. 2500 watt power generator and I've been running this for two days with this one and it's only at 79% as you can see this one is doing a material test it's running uh, and this one is also running now this is plugged in directly to that I do have another one that I'm running my exhaust fan on only because the cord wouldn't reach down there and that is why I'm using that one but this is more than sufficient for what I need them for. You know, this is going to run my lasers just fine. So I've got them both going at the same time. All right. Well, I have I have a lot of these solar generators. Uh, and now this one, I am going to actually put a solar panel on the roof so I can keep this charged. I won't have to slide it over. It'll be a constant feed. But uh, if I was going to say that if there was anything about this I didn't like, it's probably having the outlets on the side, which is still not a big deal. But 
it, it is easier to get, you know, if they were in the front, but I, you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a big deal to me to have, to have it on the side. And what I have here, okay, I think I got these at the Walmart. It's just a late little small lazy Susan. And I put it on this so I can just easily turn this thing because they are heavy. It is pretty heavy. Uh, I can just turn it any which way I need it. I want to get to this side, I just spin it. So that's that's one way to make that easier. So now this isn't no big issue. If I want to plug in a laser, I just spin it around, I plug it in. That's how you solve that kind of problem. But uh, very, very, very good uh, charger. This thing has done wonders for me and I highly recommend it. As you know, this shop is run by these things and the Fury is a good one. So I will leave a link in the description. If there is a discount code, I will have it in there. You guys need to check it out because this thing is worth the money. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.